and welcome to the Members tab tutorial for administrators. My name is David. I work here at Alad Tech under the tech support team and training support. And we're going to be taking a look at the members and your member database here. Now this is a great location to store and organize information for all your employees. Uh, you can manage employee training, their contact information, licenses, certifications. You get to customize this database any way you wish and view it any way you wish for reporting and messaging and such. Uh, right from the get-go here we can see a few different items here and as you hover your mouse over each of these lines it highlights each of your employees and you can see by that yellow pencil there that gives you the option to edit that particular field. So in this case if you know what Seth's phone number is going to be you can actually put that in here and save and it'll save their phone number along with their email, along with all these other fields as well along the way. Now let's take a look at the member information just as a one profile here. We'll use Dave as an option here. And as we hover over Dave's name, we can actually click on edit member. You'll see the other options to maybe set them as inactive or look at their schedule or availability. Uh, but we're gonna look at just looking at editing the member. Now you can see at the top here some high level member information such as their first and last name, their login and their password which are required and your member will be able to adjust as needed. Other things that you'll be able to adjust as an admin is their access level which gives them permissions as to do what they are and need to do in the database and you may need to move them into a supervisor position or perhaps a top level administrator information. Work groups, this is the set of rules that uh, the, the member follows in terms of where they belong. Um, in terms of signups, work limits, and overtime, and things like that. Uh, their status. We'll walk through the rest of the profile here. Here's some options regarding messaging. Uh, this is where your member can set all their messaging options. Here's where they'll put in their 10-digit mobile phone number. They would choose their mobile phone provider here from this list, whether it be AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, whatever that happens to be. They also could enter in their email here, and they can enter in multiple emails if necessary if they want to receive notifications to multiple accounts. And then each of your members can determine what kind of messages they want from the system and in what format. And you can see here probably we'll concentrate on these three items in the middle here regarding trades, time off, and signups. So let's say, for instance, Dave wants to get a text message and the next time they request time off and they want to be notified when that time off has been approved or denied, they would be able to check the box for email or text here. They also can get what's called an upcoming shift reminder, which is a nice feature where they can just be notified uh, of their upcoming shift 24 hours before it's going to be start. And then that, that way they can get that information 24 hours before that happens and let them know that they're working tomorrow. So your members will be able to set their messaging options and in some cases they'll be able to edit some of the more information down below but you as an admin of course will be able to set all the other information here including what's called permissions. Now this is what drives the rest of the system in terms of where Dave Anderson is allowed to work on the schedules and the positions within those schedules without the, throughout the database. You as an admin of course through the setup area set what the parameters are and their definition of what schedules you have and what positions are in those schedules and what they're called and what we're doing here for Dave is we're deciding where Dave is qualified to work. So let's just say he is not going to be part of the administrators here and we just need to remove that. So this is a nice tool to allow you to predetermine where each member is qualified to work. So when you're building the schedule and you're looking to put somebody in on the Abbey Road Station schedule as a duty officer, Dave's name will be part of that list and all the other names associated with those permissions. And if they weren't allowed to be working there, if they were unchecked, say the administrators, they would not be listed there so you're not putting them in there by mistake. So this is what's going to drive the rest of your system here when they're uh, who's qualified to work where. You get to predetermine that right from the member profile. The rest of the member profile here can store an unlimited amount of custom fields. And like I said, you can customize this profile for each of your members to store any amount of information that you want. And you get to do that here under the Members tab in the Member Database Configurator, which we'll look at in more detail in just a moment. But you can see here you can have all sorts of fields such as just plain text fields, drop-down option fields here, say you want to see who who they report to and you get to set those choices uh, what their role is there's that information you also get to set 
date fields, such as, you know, when their training has been completed, you can record that by picking a date. Or you can see some of these fields have an expires label associated with them. So say you want to track certifications for each of your members and when that certification is due to expire. And let's just say that happens to be at the end of this year. So December 31st, the system will then place a uh, expiration warning right on the dashboard of the home page of the system here for not just the member, but for the administrators as well, letting you know and notifying you that a, C that a certification is due to expire and maybe you need to notify the member of that and it alerts them to get that renewed if necessary. You'll see some other options here. You get to add as many of these sections and fields and organize them in the fashion that you desire. So let's go back out and look at the rest of the information here. You could see some uh, the layout of all your information for all your members here. Uh, we're looking at currently a member information, uh, but let's say you want to view a different set of options here throughout the system. You can look over here and our view filter options and the edit link, and you get to customize the view of what you're looking at. So basically you're customizing your own member report to what you want to display. So say pick uh, account information, and you're looking at that, but along with that, you say you want to make sure you get their date of hire or their phone number or whatever it happens to be. Click on the edit link here and you get to customize it even further where you get to pick and choose exactly which columns you want to include on this view. And let's just look down here and say we want to choose people's title and maybe their date of hire like I mentioned here and click apply. And now those two columns have been added to your view. Now what you can also do at that point is after you customize a view using the edit link and you've chosen all the uh, options you like, you can certainly just save it. You can save it as a custom view for yourself. And let's just say this is my uh, account info extra view. And you can save that information. And then down here in your drop down of views, you have an account info extra view that is displayed just for you. Now that is customizable to your login only. No one else is going to see that information. And that goes towards however you're viewing the system here. Uh, it's not going to affect anybody else's view of the system. This is just customizing for you. And if you ever want to just switch back to looking at everything, you can certainly come down and choose the all items view under system views and have all your information here and be able to scroll all the way around and see all the different uh, fields and columns. Let's say you want to also edit uh, and see a uh, filter out based on qualification. Let's say we only want to see the people that are allowed to work the Hamilton station here as a duty officer and then we can set those parameters and click apply and your number of members then drop from 61 to 48 these are the 48 members that are allowed to work on the hamilton station as a duty officer and you can save that custom view for yourself as well now the big feature from the member database here is of course being able to send a message once you have all your phone numbers and emails in there you can click on send message right above everybody's name here all you need to do is choose the list of names you want to send a message to or perhaps choose the top box to send a message or let's say you want to just send it to just your full-time members you can do a sort on any of these column headers ascending or descending and you'll see all the full-time members then batch batch together there you can click on the first one and hold down your shift key and click on the last one and it'll choose everybody in between and now we're just sending a message to just your full-time members and what you could do is send an email a text message or both and you would just compose your email to the 12 people you've selected one of which right now are set to get text messages the text message has a hundred character limit and you can see that countdown there for you. We have that limit in place due to uh, the limitation from the cell phone carriers themselves, a 100 character limit. And you would send out that one way, no reply message from the system that's recorded in your log. You, and as I said, you can also customize your members uh, to record whatever information you want. Um, and that's done here via the member database configurator. And this works as, as, say, a form design for just your members. And what you can do is hover over on any of these fields to make any changes you may need with your edit pencil there. Um, you can change the label of that field to make something that makes more sense, like, say, rank. And you'll see here you can also make fields required 
or you can make fields hidden if you need to hide them from the rest of the regular staff and only available to those people that are allowed to see hidden fields, which is set via your access levels in your setup area. Or you can add and remove fields from the left-hand column here, and you can see the different field types that you can add. And it's as simple as just taking it with your mouse and holding it and dragging it over exactly where you want to place that. And let's say we want a work phone number in here. Here's the date expiration fields. If you have other certifications you need to add, you can bring that down here and call it what you wish, and you'll have another EXP expiring field that the system will track. If you need to add or remove sections, um, you can organize them into a number of columns, one, two, or three. You'll see the trash can, which indicates deleting. And so you can see how you can customize this uh, to an unlimited amount of fields and, and, and store whatever you wish for your members. So that's it. Tutorial for your member database. If you have any questions, please be sure to find our information for help in the help section of your system. And at the bottom, you'll find our support information to give us a call or email us at any time. Thank you for choosing Alad Tech.